Hi, this video will show you how to trace polar curve R equal to A plus B sine theta from theta equal to zero to theta max by Excel. Let's assume that the current theta max is equal to 20 degree. In general, theta max will be equal to S and this S will be controlled by a scroll bar later. This is how the spreadsheet will look like. I'm going to trace polar curve R equal to A plus B sine theta. Here, let's say A is equal to 3, located in the cell C3. I name this cell A and B is equal to 2 currently located in the cell F3 and I name it B. Theta max currently is equal to 20 degree and I name this cell J3S. Now, I'm going to construct a sequence of 360 values of theta in between theta equal to 0 to theta equal to theta max and convert this theta to radian measure. First, I define the increment to be S over 360 and I call this cell H. So, I'm going to create a column of theta from 0 to 360. As you can see, the last number, theta is 360. So, I'm going to have 360 values. Then, scale it to the theta maxima. And the formula is equal to M4 times H equal. Then I copy and paste to this 360 scale theta and I get a theta value from zero to theta max. So you notice that the last value will be 20 in this case since my theta max is equal to 20. Then I need to convert the theta in degree to theta in radian. And the formula is equal to N for the theta in degree scale times pi divided by 180. Enter. And then copy and paste this formula to all these 360 value of theta and we get all the angle measure in radian. So this will be done. Then I am going to construct a sequence of 360 values of x theta and y theta from theta equals zero to theta equal to theta max, where x is equal to r cosine theta and y equal to r sine theta. So I entered the formula for x theta, which is equal to r a 
plus b times sine of theta and radian which is in O4 close the bracket for R times cosine of theta which is in O4 again and enter and now I copy this formula for 360 values of x. Next, I'm going to enter the formula for y, which is equal to a plus b times sine of theta which is in O4 cross the bracket times sine of theta which is in O4 then enter copy and paste this formula for 360 values Done. Then insert the scatter graph for the sequence of x theta and y theta. So we highlight the column containing x theta and y theta and then insert a scatter graph connected by smooth line. Then we get a polar curve up to 20 degree. In order to see the whole graph, we need to adjust the size of the graph paper. So let's adjust the horizontal axis from minus 6 to 6. So fix the minimal to negative 6 and maximal to 6 then close and for the vertical axis we also fix the maximal a minimal so maximal to 6 and minimal to minus 6 and then close so we have the portion of the graph from 0 to 20 degree We will insert a horizontal scroll bar to control the value of S, which will control the maximum value of theta. The spreadsheet must be in the developer mode. If you cannot see this, you can go to File, then Option. and select customize ribbon and make sure developer is highlighted so click developer insert a scroll bar put in some empty space Then we set 
the minimum value of scroll bar to be zero and maximum value of scroll bar to be 360, increment be one. First, we right click on the scroll bar and select properties and the current value of the data is 20 minimum to be zero maximum to be 360 and we link the cell to S which is in J3 And now we are ready to trace the graph. So let's click on the arrows. So if I click on clicking this one, and you'll find that when you go to 360 degree, you get the shape of this polar curve. 